when I don't have the baby. I don't know what to do with my hands. Ah, oh, she's awake! You guys are new to my channel. Welcome, my name's Ivy, and I'm so glad that you're here. We're gonna do a four month update, and I do health and wellness videos. I do, I have a little baby girl who's currently sleeping, so I'm trying to be, and I need to drink this. Okay, we're gonna do a four month update of the baby, what it's been like. I know, hello, she's four months old, and I'm just now doing the first like baby update, but you know, I've been busy, you know, like taking care of a baby and stuff. So, four month update, what can I tell you? She was about 15.5 pounds at her four month doctor's appointment. Breast milk on me? Cool. Yeah, mom life. She is sleeping really good. It's hard to say. When people ask me that question, I'm like, people are like, when did, when did your baby sleep? When she's tired? <laughs> like, I don't know how to answer these questions sometimes. I feel so silly. And she's also my first, right? So if I don't drink it, it gets like super thick. I'm listening for her. Anyways, it gets super thick and not good. And then you can't drink it. She was 15 and a half pounds at her doctor's appointment. She was 24 inches long, I think. She was good. The doctor did say that we could introduce solids. I'm not gonna do that just yet. And I'm trying to listen to that mommy intuition, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna wait on that a little bit, especially my husband is very much so like, no. Um, she has not even had a bottle at this point. So, only the boob. I've had a very, very good experience with breastfeeding. I have enjoyed it. I have, thanks, I don't even know the term, but like, you know what I'm talking about when women's like nipples are like falling off and stuff? Yeah, I haven't had any of that, <laughs> thankfully. I did have a bout with mastitis, and so I cut back on my lactation brownies. If you guys are having trouble with breast milk, please click the link below because that recipe is amazing. I haven't done that much at all these are driving me crazy my milk was just exploding all over the place like i would it was just a lot i would wake up in the middle of the night really really i'd wake up in the middle of the night and i would have breast milk just everywhere and it was crazy but i want to say that this has been such a good journey and something that I keep reminding myself and there's a couple of things that I mentally held on to while I was pregnant and it was that this is just, I'm just going to get bigger. My belly is just going to get bigger. So if I think that something is hard now, whether it was, you know, doing laundry or like getting housework done or trying to work out or whatever, I just kept telling myself that it's only going to get harder from this point. So with that said, something that I made sure to just do was mentally think about that and like kind of go over it in my mind and so I was kind of preparing for the next stage that really helped me and now I'm kind of at this point where like if I think a day is hard imagine that day with two or three or four or five or six or seven. You know, uh, I want lots of kids I would love to just grow my family with my husband and so yeah that's kind of my mindset. And that's really been helpful. Like even today, I like have the baby on the hip and she was like whining and we couldn't quite figure out what was wrong. And I'm taking the dog out who our dog is very old and we've had a lot of challenges with him since the baby's been born. And so I'm like, dog, baby, got this. Like trying to knock out my to-do list, getting stuff done. And I, in a moment I was like, this is kind of hard. And then I was like, gosh, no it's not hard and I want so many more so I'm just it's gonna be a dog and a baby on the hip and a baby in my hand and making sure one's not running out in the street and so <laughs> I just keep reminding myself of that and it's definitely keeping me in the mindset of like all right I got this I'm getting off track it's been good sleeping has been good her eating has been incredible um, she's just good I have not given her body bottle so I think we haven't dealt with the issue of nipple confusion I thankfully have been able to just be with her at all times and it's it's a blessing and a curse at the same time like I can't go to the gym for long periods of time we live in California we don't have family here and I'm not in a position where I feel like leaving her with a stranger just yet um, so that's not gonna happen so I'm kind of like forced to do boob only which I feel like has been a good experience and I'm thankful for that so my husband also is very uh, aware of like the psychological effects of 
strictly breastfeeding and so we're just trying to make sure that you know we give her that if we can and we're in this moment and we financially can do that and then that's what we're going to do financially doing that i mean like i don't have to work a full-time job somewhere with that said also kind of off topic of four months um we're trying to get out of debt like hardcore get out of debt when we closed our juice bar if you guys want a video on that please say below if you do um about that journey and that's been hard i know i need to talk about it but um maybe coming around the anniversary of us closing the store i'll talk about it but um we left our storefront with forty nine thousand dollars in debt so we've been working on getting out of that and there's been a couple things that happened i got in a car accident so that that was in our business car so that changed things quite a bit and then um we just have been chipping away we had a ton of commercial equipment that we had to sell and we sold it which has been a wonderful experience so that we're working on um just kind of tying up loose ends with that and then we have our construction debt from when we built the store which was a lot and yeah i'm like almost today i have $1,900 left of that. This is so off topic, by the way. <laughs> like, I got so far from four months. Anyways, if you're new, hit the red subscribe button because I give really good videos that are straight to topic <laughs> and you should probably hang out often. But anyways, uh, we're working on that right now and I'm just super excited. I'm super excited to get out of debt with my husband and kind of see what, um, what opens up for us with that. She's not awake. She's taking a nap right now. <laughs> it's been a really good experience. Some things I've learned between like newborn stage and four months is I really try to take naps when she takes naps. And they aren't always super great. I don't always sleep for like a long time. They aren't these like wonderful, super refreshing naps. But just laying down with her um, has been incredible. And also I had a friend who... Uh, sent me a message it was it was the most incredible message and it was about those moments when baby won't nap unless she's on you or he and how like it could be mother nature speaking to you through the baby right like when you're pregnant you have all you have all this connection going on if the baby's hungry or the baby needs x y or z it tells you right the baby tells you and then you have all these things and Someone just woke up from her nap. She also just burped and it sounded wet. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This blanket will work. Mom of the year. Oh, yeah. Hi, sweet pie. Oh, gosh. Nope. <laughs> but, like, have you had my brownie recipe? Like, have you, though? 